Primetime loves a spectacle. We love controversy. And nobody in the fighting world's better at stirring the pot than Jake Paul. Originally a YouTube sensation, now a boxing star, Jake Paul's taken on UFC champs like Ben Askren, Tyrone Woodley, Nate Diaz. But he's stepping it up in class now. You heard it right, mother I'm fighting Mike Tyson, Goodness, he's got a buddy right here. And not only do I have the honor of fighting one of the two most famous boxers to ever live, it's also happening live on Netflix. July 20th, Jake Paul is going to be fighting Mike Tyson at the AT&T Stadium in Texas live on Netflix. This is going to be the event of the summer. Iron Mike, the youngest heavyweight champ in the history of boxing, a lifetime record of 50 wins and six losses. He's now 57 years old and still training like a beast. It's day one. The fun just begun. <laughs> day two, I'm getting ready for you. <laughs> day three, you still want to with me? Day four, you know, it was okay, but you don't know what you got in store, baby. You got to face the God of War. At 9-1, and one, Jake Paul doesn't have Tyson's record, but he's got youth, he's got power, and he's got athleticism. He's only 28 years old, and he only took up boxing just four years ago and continues to shock the world. Mikey, Mikey, your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. Woo. Does Jake Paul have what it takes? Or is he making a big mistake? Tyson was on Hannity last week talking smack. I think it's, you know, he's came a long way from YouTubing. And listen, I've seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy's going to come. He's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to. And he's going to be greatly mistaken. Jake Paul joins me now. Thanks for coming on, Jake. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to my mom who's watching. So, mom, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> mom, I want to give you a shout out. I know you're probably not watching, but I love you too. Uh, so, you heard Mike. Mike says you're making a mistake. What do you say? Are you? Man, I think he's underestimating me. I, I truly, I truly think that. And it's a heavyweight fight. So, you know, he's the bigger man but I'm the faster man. He's the much stronger man, but I'm fresh. He's experienced. I'm smart, but in the ring, he may be smarter. So it's a really interesting matchup, but I think the whole world and a lot of people see his training videos. And yes, he looks like a beast. He's a dog. He's Iron Mike Tyson, but I believe I have what it takes to, to beat him. And I know this is the toughest test of my life. And it's an honor to be in there with Mike. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be the one who gets my hand raised. All right, we will see. I know I'll be watching along with millions of other people. You know how he likes to get inside on people. That's his move. Faint, faint, get inside, kidney, kidney, uppercut. I mean, you've seen the results. I don't know if you want to give away your game plan on live TV, but what are you going to do? Yeah, look, uh, it's going to be tough. He, he's the, the bigger man, so you're right. He's going to be getting inside i'm probably going to be at chick-fil-a with <laughs> mr trump trying to gain weight for this fight but i believe that i have the faster feet and the faster hands so i'm going to be working angles and you know i don't mind mike mike can have the game plan i'm still going to win that's how confident I, I am in my ability what happens if tyson bites your ear off he can't, he can't bite my ear off if I knock his teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is this an exhibition fight? There's a lot of controversy over how real this is going to be. What's the truth? Yeah, man, it's, it's so annoying. The people on the Internet will believe anything they see or hear. There's been so much misinformation. Uh, I mean, I mean, we know this I more can't than believe anyone that on, would on Fox News. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it, Mike and I want this to be a pro fight, full face shots. We're submitting that request to the commission. It's an all-out war. There's been all these fake videos about not being able to hit each other, big gloves, all of that stuff, and it's all 
as Trump would say, fake news. <laughs> you know, you do have a big event coming up in November, maybe not as big as this fight this summer between you and Mike. If, if Biden put the gloves on and Trump put the gloves on, what do you think would happen? I mean, Trump wouldn't even have to punch and Biden would just fall over from the wind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave it there. And, and, and Trump, if you're watching this, this is an invite. I know you used to promote Tyson, so I'd love to have you at the fight. Vivek came to my other fight. And of course, the Silver Fox, Baron Trump. So Donnie, pull up. We got tickets for you. All right, you have tickets for Jesse Waters primetime? I got you, man, of course. Come on. All right, good. Well, you've been very successful. Everybody's getting ready for this big fight live on Netflix. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. The first, the first ever live professional sporting event on Netflix. And most valuable promotions did that in less than three years of business. So it's a testament to me and my partner, Nikisa. And Jesse, thanks for having me as always. And I'm going to put on a show. And I promise to my fans that I'm going to come out with the dub and do the unthinkable and show the world that no matter what the odds are, no matter if it's Mike Tyson, that in less than four years, you can become the best in the world at something. Well, if you beat him, I don't know who you're going to fight next. That's going to be a tough, tough call. <laughs> anybody, anybody, anywhere, anytime, any place. All right, it's a challenge. Jake Paul, thanks so much. Good luck. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.